It's interstellar. It came from outside the solar system. Could it be a Voyager-like meteor? Imagine our own spacecraft colliding with a planet like Earth. Sometimes a discovery is made that changes the rules. NASA and Harvard just made one of those discoveries. A comet, 3I Atlas, has been officially confirmed to be emitting highly unusual molecules at a rate that has scientists completely baffled. It looked as if there is a glow ahead of the object towards the sun instead of the typical tail that we see behind comets away from the sun. The most shocking fact is the chemical composition. It's a carbon-rich profile that is almost unheard of for an object of its kind. This isn't just an interesting observation. It's a profound anomaly that could rewrite our understanding of these celestial travelers. The race is on to figure out what this visitor is truly made of. A comet like no other. The vast emptiness of space is rarely empty. It's filled with ancient travelers, asteroids, and comets drifting silently for billions of years. Most are predictable, following orbits that we've mapped and understood for decades. But not all things are what they seem. A recent bombshell announcement from a joint effort between NASA and Harvard University has revealed that one of these travelers, a comet designated 3I Atlas, is anything but ordinary. In fact, it's so strange that it's forcing scientists to question their most basic assumptions about these icy wanderers. You see, for the past few weeks, telescopes pointed at 3I Atlas have been detecting something that, frankly, shouldn't be there. The official report confirms that the comet is emitting a bizarre mix of molecules at what they are calling alarming rates. Comets are essentially giant, dirty snowballs, sometimes miles wide. As they get closer to the sun, the heat causes their ice to turn directly into gas, a process called sublimation. This creates the beautiful tail we see from Earth. Typically, this tail is mostly made of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other simple compounds. What many overlooked is that 3I Atlas is producing something far more exotic. The instruments detected huge amounts of diatomic carbon, or C2, and triatomic carbon, C3. To put it simply, these are molecules made of two and three carbon atoms linked together. While carbon is common on comets, seeing it in these forms and in these quantities is incredibly rare. The production rate is so unusually high that it completely overshadows the amount of water vapor being released. Think of it like a car that's supposed to run on gasoline but is somehow producing more exhaust than the fuel it's burning. It just doesn't add up. The most shocking fact is that this makes 3I Atlas one of the most carbon-rich comets ever observed. It's an absolute chemical freak of nature. This isn't just a minor detail. It's a fundamental clue that this comet has a very different history from the thousands of others we've studied. It's as if we found a message in a bottle from the dawn of the solar system, but the message is written in a language we've never seen before. But the mystery deepens. The analysis also showed a strange ratio of these carbon molecules to another compound called cyanogen. This ratio is a key fingerprint for astronomers, telling them where a comet likely came from and what it's made of. For 3I Atlas, this fingerprint is completely alien. It doesn't match the profile of comets from the Kuiper Belt, the region out past Neptune. And more importantly, it doesn't match the profile of comets from the Oort Cloud a theoretical sphere of icy bodies surrounding our solar system almost a light year away. So if it's not from any of the known nurseries for comets, where did it come from? The data is pouring in, but every new piece of information only seems to add to the puzzle. The comet is hurtling through our solar system at over 100,000 miles per hour, and with every passing second, it spews more of its strange chemical signature into space, a trail of cosmic breadcrumbs leading back to an unknown origin. What these strange molecules are telling us is just beginning to be understood. A violent past. So what exactly is this bizarre object? The thing nobody tells you is that some of the most important discoveries in science come from objects that break all the rules. And 3I Atlas is a certified rule breaker. Officially designated 3I Atlas 2025 F3, it was first spotted by the Atlas Survey System a set of telescopes in Hawaii designed to detect near-Earth objects. 
At first, it seemed like just another faint smudge moving against the background of stars, another lonely traveler from the cold outer reaches of the solar system. But as it drew closer, astronomers noticed its light wasn't behaving as expected. Its brightness was fluctuating wildly and its path was slightly off from what the models predicted. This is where the story gets really interesting. Based on its trajectory, scientists believe 3i Atlas is a long-period comet, meaning its orbit takes thousands, if not tens of thousands, of years to complete. Most of these comets are thought to originate in the Oort cloud, that vast, mysterious shell of icy debris left over from the formation of the solar system extending out nearly a quarter of the way to the next star. These objects are like time capsules, preserved in a deep freeze for over four billion years. When one of them gets nudged out of its orbit and falls toward the sun, it gives us a rare glimpse into the primordial soup from which the planets were born. However, the chemical data from 3 Eyes Atlas throws a wrench in that whole theory. Oort cloud comets have a fairly predictable chemical makeup, and this isn't it. The extreme carbon-rich signature has led to a radical new hypothesis, one that is gaining traction at both NASA and Harvard. They are now suggesting that 3 i Atlas is not a comet in the traditional sense. Instead, it might be a fragment of a much, much larger object that was destroyed long ago. This parent body could have been a dwarf planet or a massive proto-comet, hundreds of miles in diameter, with a very different chemical composition from the other objects in the early solar system. Many people are crazy about this idea because it explains so much. A massive, carbon-rich body formed in a unique part of the protoplanetary disk could have been shattered in a cataclysmic collision billions of years ago. This event would have sent countless fragments flying off in all directions. For billions of years, these pieces would have drifted through the Oort cloud, hidden among the more normal comets. Now, one of these fragments, 3i Atlas, has finally made its way into the inner solar system, carrying with it the chemical ghost of its long-lost parent. And you can see this everywhere in the data, the unusual orbit, the strange molecular output, it all points to an object with a violent and unique history. It's not just a comet, it's a piece of cosmic shrapnel from a battle that happened before Earth even had oceans. But what could have shattered an object that large and powerful? The molecular anomaly. Let's talk about the molecules themselves because this is where the mystery becomes a genuine WTF moment for science. We're talking about C2 and C3, chains of carbon atoms. To put it mildly, this is a very big deal. Carbon is the backbone of life as we know it. It's an incredibly versatile element capable of forming long, complex chains and rings that create everything from simple sugars to the DNA that makes you who you are. Finding these basic carbon chains in such abundance on a comet is like finding a pile of brand new bricks next to an ancient pyramid. It suggests a powerful manufacturing process is at work. The thing nobody tells you is how hard it is to create these molecules. The bonds that hold carbon atoms together are strong. You need a lot of energy, either from intense heat or powerful radiation, to break apart simpler carbon-bearing molecules like methane or carbon monoxide and then reassemble them into these C2 and C3 chains. On Earth, this happens deep inside stars or in high-energy industrial processes. But 3i Atlas is a frozen body, far from the intense heat of the sun, and yet it's churning out these molecules at a frantic pace. It's a chemical factory operating in the near absolute zero of space. So how is this happening? One theory is that the original parent body was incredibly rich in organic compounds, often called tholins. These are complex reddish-brown substances created when ultraviolet light from the sun hits simple molecules like methane and ethane. The surface of Pluto and many other outer solar system bodies are covered in this stuff. If 3i Atlas is a fragment of a body that was covered in a thick layer of these tholins, the gentle heating from the sun could be breaking them down and releasing the simpler carbon chains. This would explain the red color often associated with such objects and the sheer quantity of carbon being produced. This opens up a whole universe of possibilities. Many people are crazy about the idea of panspermia, the theory that life on Earth was seeded by materials delivered by comets and asteroids. While 3i Atlas isn't carrying life, it is carrying the raw, fundamental building blocks in staggering amounts. 
We are seeing in real time a cosmic delivery system for the very ingredients necessary to spark life. What many overlooked is that it's not just about what the comet is releasing, but what it implies. It implies that the outer solar system might be littered with the fragments of these massive, organic-rich bodies. It suggests that the ingredients for life aren't rare at all. They're everywhere, just waiting for the right conditions on a planet like ours. This comet isn't just a curiosity. It's a profound clue in the search for our own origins. But if the ingredients are everywhere, what does that really mean for us? Echoes of Creation so, we have a strange object from an unknown origin made of unusual materials producing complex molecules through a mysterious process. What does it all mean? The thing is, a discovery like 3i Atlas doesn't just add a new page to the textbook, it forces us to rewrite entire chapters. For decades, we've had a neat and tidy model of the solar system. The rocky planets are on the inside, the gas giants are in the middle, and the icy debris is on the far outside. But this comet is a wild card that doesn't fit into any of those boxes. It suggests the early solar system was a much more chaotic and diverse place than we ever imagined. Are we missing a key detail? Perhaps there were entire classes of objects out there that we didn't know about, ancient dwarf planets with exotic chemistries that were wiped out before they could be seen. Is it possible that the Oort cloud isn't just a collection of uniform ice balls, but a graveyard of shattered worlds? each with its own unique story? People watching this are looking for a mystery and the implications of 3i Atlas deliver. The comet's existence hints that the story of our solar system's formation is far from complete. What other strange fragments are out there waiting to be discovered? And what other secrets do they carry? This pattern of discovery, of being humbled by the cosmos, repeats itself throughout human history forcing us to constantly reconsider our place in the universe. We once drew maps with Earth at the very center of creation, a special stage for a divine drama. Then Copernicus and Galileo shattered that illusion, revealing we were just one planet orbiting one star. A few centuries later, Hubble showed us that our star was just one of billions in a galaxy that was itself just one of billions more. Each revelation made us smaller, yet paradoxically made our existence more profound. Now we are standing on the precipice of another great reevaluation, learning that the very materials that sparked life on our world might have been delivered by cosmic messengers like 3 Eye Atlas. This isn't just a story about a comet hurtling through space, it's the most ancient story of all. It's our story. It's about where we truly came from. Imagine for a moment the atoms that make up your body, the carbon in your skin, the nitrogen in your DNA, the oxygen you breathe. These elements were forged in the unimaginable heat and pressure of a long dead star's core. When that star met its violent end, it seeded the cosmos with the building blocks of everything we know. For billions of years, these atoms drifted through the void until they were swept up in the swirling disk of gas and dust that would become our solar system. Some of those atoms were locked away in the deep freeze of an icy rock, a pristine time capsule from an era before the planets were even fully formed. That is what 3i Atlas represents, a fossil from the dawn of our solar system. As it neared our sun, the heat began to sublimate its ancient ice, releasing a ghostly halo of gas and dust that scientists could analyze from millions of miles away. In that light, they found the chemical signatures of organic compounds, the fundamental components of life. This comet, and countless others like it, may have been the celestial couriers that delivered water to our young, hot planet and seeded its sterile oceans with the chemistry needed to kickstart biology. As 3i Atlas continues its silent journey, scientists are watching its every move, gathering every last photon of data before it swings back out into the impenetrable darkness, not to be seen again for thousands of generations. The information it has already provided has been invaluable, offering a tangible glimpse into a past we thought was lost forever. This visitor has given us a glimpse into a hidden chapter of our cosmic history. What other secrets are locked away in the ice? Are we truly alone? Like and subscribe for more answers.